And now let's take a look at multidimensional arrays. What we just did in the previous example kind of leads into this, and this is going to show you um, a little more advanced way to take advantage of arrays. So let's go back to our previous example, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole multidimensional array that we used. And I'm going to replace our two arrays here. So we're going to take advantage of what we just learned previously to access this multidimensional array. And I'm also going to introduce another feature in PHP that will help you to kind of uh, troubleshoot arrays and um, really it's just a nice tool to know. So I'm going to show you a way to take a look at the entire array, which a lot of times we use for debugging and we wouldn't necessarily display this on a page. Uh, when it you know goes to production but when trying to work with things but when developing it can be a really nice tool so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this down here and we're gonna take advantage of the pre tags in HTML and I'm also gonna if you're not familiar with this I'm gonna introduce another thing that you can do in PHP uh, and the way I prefer to write PHP along with HTML and that is to kind of break up the PHP a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and take our closing PHP tag and put it up here. And I'm going to get rid of our echo statements. To me, especially when you're working in an IDE like Dreamweaver, or really any IDE that color codes and has coding hints, I find it a lot more helpful to write out the HTML as much as possible without echo statements. So if you're familiar with this method, uh, it's nothing new, but if you're not, you might find this helpful. Or you might like it the other way. Either way it works. So we're going to go ahead and make a set of pre-tags. And we're using this because we want it to be pre-formatted. So actually before I do this, I'll show you what happens when you don't pre-format it. So let's make some PHP tags here. And we're going to run the print r function. So print r. Because if you tried to echo out an array, you're not going to get the array. You're going to get just the term array. So actually, let's let's show that first here. So if we save this and take a look at it, you'll see what I mean. See, so we're getting an error here. And depending on where you're doing this at, if you're using a hosting company, you probably won't see this error. You'll just see the term array here. Um, but I'm using XAMPP with pretty much the default settings in PHP, so I'm getting a little more error messages than normal. So I just wanted to explain that uh, why you can't just flat out echo an array. Now you can echo a value within an array using the key, but to try and just echo out an array in its entirety will not work. So what we do instead is we use the print r function. And all we need to do is put in the array name. So hosts. So we'll take a look at this. And there you go. So it echoes out the entire array. Now the reason we want to use the pre-tags is this is not very legible. So this allows us to view this in a different fashion. So we'll put some pre-tags here. And in fact, we don't need all this space within our PHP, so we can condense this here. A lot of times when I'm just doing one line of PHP, I keep it all in one line. So there you go. Save that. And there you go. So now you can get a little better idea of how your array is actually laid out. So like I said, this is a really good tool when, when working on a site, when in development stages, and especially if you're working with a really large array, you can just get a feel for the information you have and the keys associated. So here's our keys, and here are the values. And when you have a multidimensional array, you'll see the array shoot out here 
from the uh, value of the parent array. So we'll just use that for reference. And let's go ahead and copy this heading here. And we'll call this about our hosts. So, you know, imagine this is uh, our website, our livespeakradio.com website, and we want to echo out some details about our hosts. So let's do some PHP tags here. And we're going to do a for each loop. So for each. And we're going to access hosts. And at this stage, all I really want is the key because I want the first name of each host. And instead of using value, because we're going to do some loops inside of the loop, I'm going to go ahead and use a different naming structure here. So we'll actually just call this name because it's going to be the first name. And we'll go ahead and stop the PHP for a second. And again, this is a different method, but you can go ahead and use the echoing method that we've been using in previous examples. And quite honestly, let's just go ahead and put this all on one line, clean things up. So in case you're not familiar with this, you can actually break PHP. You can stop PHP uh, even in a situation like a loop here. As long as you put what you want within these brackets, it's still going to work correctly. The code's just going to be a little more cleaner and easier to manage. So I'm going to make a h4 tag and we're going to go ahead and put the name of the host in here. So php echo name. So this is the start of our output here. So let's go ahead and just take a look. This is going to be kind of the heading, and then we're going to list the details of each host. Let's go ahead and refresh. And I made a slip up here. And for those of you who are not familiar with my videos, um, I do edit out errors sometimes. However, when I think they're relevant and can help, uh, I tend to keep them in. And this is something that you could definitely make a mistake on. And what I did was, instead of getting the key, I actually got the value in the host array. Because that's the way a for each loop works, as we noted before. So we need to actually add the value, which is going to be the child array. So if we take a look at our array here in the browser, this gives us details. So we get the name what this array becomes in the loop. So let's just call it details. Or even for short, let's just do info. So hopefully you caught what I did there. We were trying to access the key, but we were actually just accessing the value of that key. And the value in the parent array is an actual array. So we are getting an error here. The same error that we got when we tried to echo these out earlier. So with that, if it hasn't become clear yet, this variable here is an actual variable. It's name, and it contains the name of each of our hosts. This info here, this is actually an array. This is not a variable. So this is saving the value of the key as a new array, which we can then access here. So let's try this again. Go ahead and save and refresh. There you go. So we've got each of our hosts in bold here. So now what we can do is inside here we can start another for each loop. So we'll get some PHP tags. And we'll do for each. And now we want to access this info array that we've created. So for each info, I want to use the key as a label 
here, duty and location. So, so like above, we're going to want to get the key and the value. So now we'll do as for the key, just plain key and this value. And we can do so because we're not using these variables anywhere else. And like we did up here, let's go ahead and condense this a little bit and break that up. So inside this loop, let's go ahead and let's we'll make a paragraph tag and in Dreamweaver that's Control Shift P and we're going to go ahead, we'll make a strong tag, control B, and within here, do PHP, echo, and we're going to want the key, because this is going to be the name of whatever the value is going to be. So there's that, and then after that, do a colon and a space, and here we'll echo out the value. So go ahead and save this and take a look. There you go. So we have a little bit about our host. So we get host name, what their job is on the show, and where they're located. Now, of course, we're really echoing this out with very little formatting, so um, it takes being a little more familiar with HTML or having a front-end developer uh, alongside with you to kind of make all this data look better. But you can definitely see how you can take advantage of arrays to access data and store data. Now let's go ahead and save a copy of this.